Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you guys how I made this easy, breakable heart, perfect for any occasion. To get started, I'm going to be using this heart-shaped mold that I purchased on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it for you guys down below. And then I also purchased these other supplies at a local craft store in my area. Now I'm going to melt one bag of candy melts in the microwave for about 30 seconds at a time until smooth and just make sure you're using a microwave safe bowl. Now for the fun part, so we're going to go ahead and mix that up just to make sure everything is nice and smooth and then we're going to pour in about most of the candy melts just so we have enough so we can move it around in there. I didn't have enough in there so I ended up adding some more. So you're going to want to take your time and just keep moving it around until you cover all those edges. Once we have a nice even layer of chocolate in our mold, we're going to go ahead and remove that excess chocolate and then we're also going to use a sharp edge to clean up all the edges. So this part of the heart can be a little tricky when applying chocolate so I just went ahead and added some extra chocolate with my knife just to make sure it's nice and secure. Now I'm going to place my heart on a flat surface and place it in the refrigerator until it's all set. So while we're waiting for our heart in the refrigerator, I went ahead and melted some candy melts and put it in a piping bag to move on to the letters. And I did not do these letters correctly and this is my first time using this mold so I would suggest doing one letter at a time, making sure you're tapping it each time. And once you're done, you're just going to go ahead and clean off all the excess so when you do take out the letter, it looks nice and clean. I wanted to add some decoration to the box, so I'm going to go ahead and make some candy hearts with the candy melts and place this in the refrigerator until set. The heart is nice and set. We're going to go ahead and take our chocolate and then we're going to take our spoon and tap the back of the spoon with the chocolate. And now we're going to tap all the way around the heart just to secure those edges so when we do take it out of the mold, they are nice and strong and they do not break on us. I'm also going to add extra chocolate in this area just to make sure it's nice and secure. Once that is complete, you're going to go ahead and clean up all the edges again. And right here you can see I kind of messed that area up a little bit so I went ahead and added some more chocolate and I'll clean it up when it's nice and set. 
Now I'm going to place it in the refrigerator for a few minutes and once it's done we're going to go ahead and take our sharp edge and clean up all those edges before removing it from the mold. Now it's finally time to release it from the mold so we're going to go ahead and start by pressing down all the way around the edges just to kind of release it a little bit. And once that's done we're going to go ahead and pick it up and start pulling it a little more away from the chocolate. So we're going to pull the mold and not pull the chocolate just so we do not break it. And this seems hard and it seems intimidating, but it's pretty easy. You just got to be patient and take your time. Once we did that all the way around, we're just going to start pulling the mold down. And we're going to try to avoid touching it from the top just so we don't get any smudges. And just keep pulling it, keep pulling it. I love this mold because it's really flexible. So we could just remove it and scrunch it up as needed and we get this perfect shaped heart and look at how cute that is. Then I also want to show you guys how the letters turned out the first time because I did not tap them enough and there's some the missing chocolate in the E and all the letters actually but look at how sad that looks. Aww. So I went ahead and redid those but then I'm also gonna go ahead and remove the hearts. And you can also see that these needed to be tapped a little more as well because there is some missing little areas um, on the top of the chocolate, but that's okay because I'm going to go ahead and decorate them with candy melts and sprinkles anyways. But yeah, I just want to show you guys. I'll go ahead and fix that next time. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove my letters from the mold. And they look a hundred times better. And these were a little tricky to remove, so I would just say take your time and just try to be gentle. Now moving on to the fun part, we're going to go ahead and decorate this beauty. And these are the supplies that I'm going to be using. So first I'm going to go ahead and start with some pink candy melts that I put in a piping bag. Next I'm going to decorate with some cute sprinkles. Now we're going to go ahead and add our word love. And decorate with some more sprinkles. And finally, we're going to go ahead and decorate with some edible glitter. I really love this glitter. It's my favorite. Now it's time to add everything in our box. First, I'm going to start with this crinkly paper that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And you can add whatever you like underneath the heart. You can put their favorite chocolate. You can put some money, a gift card, whatever you want. So for today's example, I'm going to go ahead and use some money and look at that beautiful heart. So I'm just going to place it over the gift. And then I'm also going to place our little cute decorative chocolates on the side. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and add our hammer, and then I also tied a cute little bow on it as well. 
all right guys and this is how it turned out what do you guys think what's your favorite part my favorite part is the letters on the heart i think that turned out so cute and this is perfect for any occasion you can also add chocolate covered strawberries a bottle of wine anything you want in the box just to give you guys some ideas and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys subscribe if you can like and comment that would help me out so much and i'll see you guys next time bye